going on guys? So I got the cylinder head back from the machine shop and now it is time to reassemble the cylinder head but before we do that we are going to be cleaning the cam, lifter, trays, bearing caps, all that good stuff. So it's been a couple months that these have been sitting around and they've collected dust and dirt, whatever, they've just been sitting around and got dust on them. So before we put the cams back on, we're going to clean the dust off of everything, make sure there's no excess oil and all that good stuff. So basically, you won't be getting little bits of dirt and dust or like tiny rocks in there, whatever gets in there. And if that's still on there, when you put it together, it's just going to freaking score the hell out of your cams. And it's not, it's not pretty. Either way, it's not good for it. So all we're going to be using, I got some brake clean. This was like three dollars from O'Reilly's and I got a microfiber and we're just going to be thoroughly cleaning everything. So to start with the cam, pretty straightforward. Going to spray some brake clean on the lobes and on the journals. So basically anywhere that a bearing or a lifter will touch the cam, I'm going to clean. So you're going to want to clean your cam lobes, these guys, and the bearing journals. Get some brake clean on there, wipe them down real good, make sure that there's nothing that can get in the way or interfere. We are going to be using assembly lube, or at least I'm going to be using assembly lube. I recommend that you use assembly lube when installing these, so we just want to make sure that they have a very clean, smooth surface with nothing on it that can get in the way and cause some damage. So another thing with the intake camshaft, um, you'll see that little hole on that bearing journal there. So that's actually an oil channel that runs from that hole into the center of the cam and then it pops out on the intake side there. So sometimes old oil will collect in there and sometimes those will sort of get clogged. So what you can do is you can take one of these guys, of course this would have an air line attached to it to blow compressed air, take that in, stick that in the end of the can like that and blow air through that little passage you can blow from that side too just to get some of the old gunk out if this is the first time the cam has been out in 15 20 years then there's probably going to be some degree of old oil and just gunk inside there so it's a good thing to get that blowing out as well as clean the rest of the lobes and journals on the cam so on to the bearing cap so again some brake clean on there Scrub these guys nice. Try and make sure that there's no dust or dirt inside of the holes where the studs go to hold the cam into place. You really just don't want any dirt on these because it's just bad. It'll get in there and just wreck. As for the lifters, you can just pop them out. Spray a little brake clean on them on the tops. Get it all nice and shiny. Looking good so far. Another thing to clean is the inside hole in the tray. These lifters sort of just sit there and rotate inside of the uh, inside of the tray. So it's a good idea to get the tray nice and clean. You can also clean the face of this to get this to sit even more flush. Get in there and get them all clean. Make sure there's nothing in there. So even if there's only like a period of like four or five days when you pull the cam trays and lifters out. It's still a good idea to get it nice and clean. This has been sitting for a couple months, so I'm going to spend a little bit more time getting the whole thing clean. So I'm not going to flip over the trays and clean the inner bearing journals just yet. I don't want all the lifters to fall out. I will be cleaning those when I go to install the camshafts. So, alright, that's it. Take your time, get everything done, get everything clean, and you'll be good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh, and I will see you guys later.